Hey, what's up guys? It's Greg Beast here, back in the Beast Lab. We've been noticing uh, some issues footwork-wise for guys that are trying to figure out exactly what to do on the whistle and how to be more explosive both in and out of their motion. So what we've noticed is obviously we've talked about before. There's a couple things that can slow you up on the whistle. One is where you displace your weight in your stance. So what we want to do is get towards the right leg, make sure we're leaning in, get to that 99% spot. Make sure the wrist is vertical, not curled under, so that we're solid, we're ready to go, and on the whistle, we can fire and get that last 1% in order to get in the ball. But how do we make sure that our momentum isn't going backwards? Well, what we're seeing a lot of times when guys are leaning in, they're either too sideways, so they're going, going east-west, and there's not power into the ball, and their heel is up. Now, when we used to go against knee-down guys, when we would face off standing up, you would want to be very sideways because all of your opponents would be coming over top of the ball. So the idea was to slide the bottom side ball under and then slide back out. However, because everybody is now standing up, you don't have that advantage to just slide in and slide out. You need power going north-south. So now we're going to get more of a 45 degree angle stance, ball pointing directly at, uh, toe pointing directly at the ball. We're going to lean into that 99%. Now, I'm recommending guys keep their left foot flat now instead of that heel up. Reason being is, Every single person that has their heel up seems to be doing this on the whistle. So they're pushing their heel into the ground on a heel stomp rather than doing the opposite, which is driving off of that toe. So what we do is we get the foot flat on the ground. Now you're on your 45 degree angle, we're at our 99%. And now what we want to do is we want to teach ourselves not to kick back. Okay, that is a huge issue if you're going to do that now. We want to get rid of all that. So the Guys who are really accelerating in their talent level right now and getting better at this are the ones that aren't kicking their feet back. Instead, they're distributing their weight correctly so that they can explode out, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna train that. The, reason, the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna put the rep strap on, make sure the attachment's here. If you don't have a rep strap, go to foareps.com. It's a really good way to explosively train the muscles for this SMG since the hand punch and the knife is everything as opposed to rolling over the top it's even more valuable as a training apparatus. But what I did was, I took this band, okay, this LFG band, and I put it right behind me, attached it to my rig, and I attached it to my rep strap. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna train these muscles to lean in and drive my weight to the right, and then I'm gonna use this leg to explode out. I'm actually gonna train the posterior chain of my right side to fire and explode out, okay? So this tension is pulling me back. My goal is to lean in, and then drive off. So let me show you, okay? Stance proper, not 45 degree angles from both of my feet pointing at the ball. 99% meaning I'm getting my body weight all the way to the right side. Helmet's on a 45 degree angle over the midline but not in the neutral zone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on my plunger. So I'm gonna drive the right hand in, left hand comes up. Now as you can see, I distributed my weight into my right foot. Now I'm gonna train my right foot to explode and I'm gonna lock out with this right glute so that I can fire out of the hole, okay? And if you can train your body to do this against resistance over time, the idea of kicking back will be completely weird to you and you won't do it anymore. So let me show you again, we're gonna lean in, okay? Here, and then fire, and explode out, okay? And that's, this is gonna train your weight distribution to your right side. It's gonna stop you from heel stomping, it's gonna stop you from kicking back, it's going to make you a way more explosive athlete on the whistle and into your exit.